Go love your own enemies. Don't be loving mine. My enemies are the theocratic fascists. I, I don't love them. I want to destroy them. Child made in the image of God. Oh no, you're not. You're a faggot. And you can't join your church and you can't go to heaven. This is disgraceful. It's inhuman. So there's this really um, juvenile Christian named Bronson Kicks. Real special guy. Uh, he's another one that I have blocked now because he was getting very personally offensive on a, I can't even think of the channel, let me see if I can find it, um, let's see, anyway, student suspended for saying homosexuality is wrong, I believe that's the video that he's writing under, and he calls me a dyke in the video, uh, in his comments. He calls me a dyke and says I have a loose ass. And I'm trying to think what else he says. Oh, that I am one ugly motherfucker. That's kind of how he put it. <laughs> um, I'm thinking... When 900 years old, you reach, look as good as not. Anyway, <laughs> I can't really comment on my ass whether or not it's loose or not because um, I don't actually give it a great deal of scrutiny. <laughs> it's not really any of his business, the condition of my, of my ass. It's also not a primary concern of mine. It gets me where I want to go. It... <laughs> It does what it's supposed to do for an ass. Okay. As for being a dyke, I suppose he says that because I wear a man's hat. Although this is actually not a man's hat, but whatever. It looks kind of masculine. Maybe he says that because I tend to be kind of masculine. I was a tomboy as a child. You know, I've never been a girly girl. Never, 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 never. Although, um, I think I can... I can dress up nice when I need to. I can I can look good if I really try. You know, it's like typical average to plain people. I I have to work a little harder to look good, but I think I can pull it off. I actually have turned heads in my life. Um, I won't get into that. But anyway, <laughs> but it takes more work for me than somebody who is naturally beautiful. And I am not, and I never have been, and I acknowledge that. It's to me does not detract from my worth as a human being, or it shouldn't. But it's funny when you're talking to these lip service Christians that since their cult has no leg to stand on, they resort to personal attacks. Calling me a dyke, that's supposed to put me in my place, I guess. I'm not a dyke, I'm not a lesbian. But for some reason, I guess that's supposed to be an insult. I don't understand why. I don't see anything wrong with being a lesbian. I don't see anything wrong with having a preference for somebody of the same gender. I'm not that way. But I don't think that that's a bad thing to be. I think that's just the way people, some people are. You know, people are born the way they are, and you accept people if you're, if you're a good person, you know, if you're... If you have any value, I mean, in my opinion, if you're saying, well, if you have any value, that that's not really what I meant. Um, if you have any, I don't know. I just don't understand people that seem to think that somebody's sexual orientation has any reflection on whether or not they're a good person. But, um... Yeah, these lip service Christians that keep popping up. I called Bronson Kicks. I said to him, "You're not. You're. <laughs> you are so not a real Christian." I, I did the. I did that whole "you're not a real Christian" thing to a Christian, which, you know, 
They don't like that when you do that. <laughs> they don't. He got very upset. I didn't read what his comment was because at that point I blocked him. That's when he wrote me and told me I was one ugly motherfucker. But, you know, the fact that he would write that and comment on my ass and tell me that I'm a dyke like that's supposed to be an offensive thing leads me to think that this is not a Christian. I told him, you know, when I was a Christian, I was pretty much of the belief I was taught. The Christianity I was spoon-fed was that you need to walk the walk, not talk the talk, not just talk the talk. You need to try to have a Christ-like life. You need to try to be like Jesus would be. Now this is back in the day when I had this false idea that Jesus was a good and moral figure. I have since learned to read the Bible objectively and I understand now that he is really not a very good mor moral role model. But back then I had the illusion that he was this very holy and pious and sinless and pure individual. And, and so I walked around trying to be basically fake, trying to be what I wasn't, trying to emulate perfection, what I thought was perfection. And of course, always never quite succeeding, always falling short, never being good enough which I'm sure contributed to my low self-esteem. But that's how I was, that was the Christianity I was raised up on, trying to be Christ-like, trying to be compassionate and loving and seeing the good qualities in people, not the bad, taking care not to offend other people, taking care not to hurt other people's feelings, being supportive, being understanding, trying to see the other person's viewpoint, you know, all these things that were naturally part of my character anyway, you know, the, the qualities in me that I wanted to have anyway really had nothing to do with the cult or, you know, this Jesus figure. It really had more to do with the kind of person I had in my head that my idea in my head of what a good person should be, that's what I was trying to emulate. But when I was a Christian, oh, I was trying to be Christ-like. I was trying to be like Jesus. So when I see somebody who is calling themselves Christian, writing stuff like, and he went on to write with this other guy about some, it sounded to me like some kind of, um, um, I can't even think of it. If I could find the note, uh, maybe I can still find the note because I didn't delete the, mo the most recent ones. So let me see if I can find it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> here's, here's one. Oh, here, so says the lesbo. That's what he called me in this one. And then he says, oh, this is, this is his comment. I, did, I guess I didn't delete this. This is Bronson Kick's comment to me. After I called him, uh, I, I implied that he wasn't really a Christian. I am not going to turn the other cheek as a Christian because he isn't one. And just who in the hell am you, am, are you at the end of the world to question my faith? You have none! And I don't walk around as a Christian with this holier-than-thou attitude. <laughs> Claiming I know things, but I do know right from wrong. And you are wrong, period. And you know it. That's right. God said, let there be light. And there was, and it was good. Do you know, do you not think that it was stars? Do you not think that it was stars that were created? And your claim about, anyway, that's as much as will be on my phone. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to get into that. I forgot where I was now. Darn it. Anyway. The fact that he would call me a dyke, the fact that he would say that I'm a ugly motherfucker. It's just the, the, the comments that he made that I can't really access now because I blocked him 
were really crude and personal attacks had nothing to do with what I was saying, which was, I'm sure, having something to do with the fact that Christianity is a cult and uh, Jesus and the characters in the Gospels are fictional. Stuff like that. Um, anyway, he didn't like it. So instead of arguing with me, he resorted to personal attacks. And my opinion is this is not the behavior of what, what Jesus would do. This is not Christ-like behavior. This is not somebody who has the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, in his heart. This is somebody who is a walking, talking, plastic mask calling himself Christian. He's, he's, he's fake. You know, when I was a Christian, I would see people like this calling themselves Christian, and it would piss me off. And there are so many lip service Christians on YouTube. It's scary. Oh, it, I'm a Christian, you fucker. <laughs> I mean, people who, who totally, you know, rip apart, well, people who hate gays, but they're Christians, right? They hate gays. They don't care. It's not because of what's in the Bible. They just, they have their beliefs and their beliefs are, are they have a right to believe that gays are, are bad or evil or homosexuality is bad. It's not based on the Bible. It's just their personal beliefs. Oh, but they're Christians. You know, um, hate isn't part of the equation. You know, I'm sorry. That's not what Christianity is supposed to be about, at least not the way I was brought up on it. That is not what being Christ-like is supposed to be about. But that's what these are. That's what these people are. These people who go to atheist channels and ridicule and attack people and put other people down, and then they get upset when atheists put them down and their their belief systems that they're trying to shove down atheist throats. They, they do. They come to atheist channels. They try to shove their cult down atheist throats. And then when atheists come back and do the same thing, oh, you atheists, all you do is you try to shove your beliefs down our throats. Excuse me? But who started this? You know, once upon a time, there was a lot more... Christians didn't have the constant challenging that they have now. Atheists just kind of didn't care. They walked around, lived their lives, didn't think about cults or deities or supernatural beings or daddies in the sky. They didn't think about it. They just lived their lives and enjoyed their lives and, you know. But then one day, there's, there's this thing that's called the straw that breaks the camel's back. And maybe it's because of the internet. Because in the, on the internet, you know, as an atheist, you go to a channel that you find interesting, like a science channel or a history channel, and you want to, you know, watch the, watch the channel, watch, the, watch a video, and then you scroll down to make a comment, and what do you find? And this is all over, everywhere, not just YouTube. It's on Facebook. It's everywhere. You find post after post after post of Christians spewing bullshit about their cult. You can't go to a video. You can't go to anything as an atheist that you're interested in, science, history, anything, and not have to have this shoved in your face. When you go down to make a comment about what you think of the cool video, there it is. Oh, evolution is such is a fake thing. It's evil. There it is. Oh, the Big Bang. That's a joke. You guys seem to think that nothing comes from, that something comes from nothing, which is not true. But that's what we have to read. That's what's thrown up into our face. Oh, you're all lost unless you believe what we believe. You need to go to Jesus. Every single time an atheist tries to go and read something and, and maybe comment, there it is! Christianity shoved in their faces! And then when they turn around and, and do the same thing back, oh, the Christians so upset you atheists are so much in our faces! It gets so old. And I'm sorry, but this kind of a Christian who can't who can't defend the cult. There's no defense for it. There's no truth behind it. They don't have a leg to stand on. So what do they do? They attack people. They attack they attack people they don't even know and and get personally offensive to them. 
and then they and then they call themselves Christian. As a former Christian, I see this kind of behavior as incredibly juvenile and idiotic. And it, and it's like I'm sorry, but as a former Christian, this is not what it is. This is not Christian behavior. This is not Christ-like behavior. If you are a Christian, you aren't remotely in touch with what your cult, what your belief system is about or supposed to be about. You're, you, you put on the mantle of Christianity and you strut around just as stupid and ignorant and crude and vulgar and dirty-minded as you were before. You haven't risen from the ashes. You haven't crawled from the bottom of the whatever, the mud that you crawl in. You haven't risen up and, and become a new creature. You're still crawling in the muck, but you wear the mantle of Christianity. You have not changed. You have not had a change of spirit. Like, you know, Christians like to say that when you become a Christian, you have a change. You become changed. You become a new creature. These are not changed people. These are people that are exactly what they were before. Absolutely the same. And they walk around and call themselves Christian. I'm sorry, but no. I would actually do what drives, what infuriates Christians more than anything else. When I see somebody like this, I will say flat out, you are not a real Christian. Not by my definition. When I was a Christian, you don't get to call yourself that. A real Christian? I, I hate to say that word because... <laughs> Real Christians want to take credit for just what, what it is to be a good person. A real Christian is a good person. Or it's a person who tries to be a good person, who gives credit to this cult for being what they already are. You know, and unfortunately you can't make a white fence from a, uh, what are they, what's the term? You can't take a, uh, whatever, you, <laughs> you can't take a bottom feeder and make it into you know, I'm sorry, but somebody who's already, already this way, already a moron, already evil, just, I don't, I hate to use that word too, not evil, but just a low life. Somebody who's a low life to begin with <laughs> doesn't magically become something else. People who are good people and then take on Christianity and then say, oh, I'm a good person because of this. No, you were a good person before you took on the religion. And people who aren't good people who take on the religion stay the same way as they were before they took on the religion, the cult, whatever. You know, it doesn't change you. You just, you know, you can give credit to God for how good you are, but it doesn't. I'm sorry, you would have been good anyway. And the people who are bad stay bad. The people who are juvenile little assholes stay juvenile little assholes like this bronze and kicks person. This is kind of off topic, but I just wanted to recommend a book. This is this is called In, In Imitation of Christ. I have said I recommended this book before. You know, there's very little wisdom to be found in the Bible. When I was a Christian, I got more philosophical, profound wisdom from this little book, In Imitation of Christ. I recommend it to Christians. Because it's kind of about, it's, it's, it's pretty deep, it's pretty hard to read. But there's so much, you know, I, I found it very helpful when I was a Christian, trying to be a good person. That helped me a lot more than the Bible ever did. And if you're a Christian and you, you feel like, you know, you need to kind of work on, on how to be a, a Christ-like, that's the book I would recommend, not the Bible. Because, I'm sorry, the Jesus in the Bible doesn't really do or say very much at all to inspire. But this little book does. It's a good book. It should, the, the title should be changed. It should be an imitation of a good person. Because 
you know, and it's been ages since I read it. I've not read it since I became an atheist. Maybe if I went back and read it now, I would go, oh God, this is stupid. But when I was a Christian, it really helped me get in touch with what it is to be a good person. What it is, how it is to see the world and, and be compassionate and caring and perceptive of the other person's feelings, you know, or just, you know, learning to take a deep breath first. It helped me more than the Bible. So anyway, <laughs> I I get tired of seeing these, these counterfeit Christians walking around on YouTube. It offends me on different levels. It offends me as an atheist because they're basically just infuriating. They misrepresent science. They misrepresent atheism. They misrepresent Christianity. But as a former Christian, they infuriate me even more. Because, you know, when I was a Christian, it took a lot of work to be the kind of person I wanted to be. And these people don't do the work. They just, oh, I've been changed because I've become a Christian. I'm a good person now. You motherfucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. But you haven't magically changed. You're still a bottom feeder. And you'll always be a bottom feeder. Because I'm sorry, your cult doesn't magically change you. If you want to be a good person, it takes work. I don't even know if I want to call myself a good person now. I mean, I, I swear, I insult people on YouTube. I resort. I, I go to that same level, too. You know? But I'm aware of it when I'm doing it that, oh, you know, this is immature, Diane, you're being immature. I'm aware of it, you know. It, it kind of rubs me the wrong way sometimes that, oh, I let them affect me this much. That, that I'm reacting like, like, you know, a high school person, high school kid. You know, it affects me. It, it, it angers me sometimes that I react immaturely. Anyway, I gotta let I gotta I gotta end this. It's getting too long, but um, yeah, I stand by what I say. This Bronson Kicks person is not a Christian. He is not a Christian the way I think of Christianity. And there's so many of them out there that are just so much lip lip service Christians only. You know, <laughs> you just have to scratch the surface, and what do you find underneath? A bottom feeder. <laughs> anyway, if you've been watching, thanks. Bye. I am uh, absolutely convinced that the main source of hatred in the world is religion. And I think it should be re religion treated with ridicule and hatred and contempt. Share the same.